show that secant x minus tangent x times sine x is equal to 1 over secant x. So we're going to prove this trig identity, so proof. So what we'll do is we'll start with one side and show it's equal to the other side. Usually it's better to start with the more complicated side. So in this case, we'll start by writing down this side here. So secant x minus tangent x sine x. And we somehow want to arrive at 1 over secant x. So the natural thing to do is to write everything in terms of sine and cosine. That's usually a good idea. So let's try that. So secant is 1 over cosine. And then tangent is sine over cosine. And then we still have the sine function, so um, I'll leave it right here, sine x. Now we can go ahead and distribute this. So we'll have sine times sine. So this is 1 over cosine minus sine times sine is sine squared x. And we have over cosine x. Since the denominators are the same, we can actually perform the subtraction. So this is equal to 1 minus sine squared over cosine x. Now, 1 minus sine squared, this piece here, this is equal to cosine squared. A really easy way to memorize that is to know that cosine squared is 1 minus the other 1 squared, so sine squared. And sine squared is 1 minus the other 1 squared, so cosine squared. Really cheap memory trick. It's 1 minus the other 1. So this is going to be cosine squared x over cosine x. And that's just going to be cosine. But cosine is equal to 1 over secant. And that's what we wanted to show. So that completes the proof. So I'd like to finish my proofs with a little box with an x. So uh, we verified the trig identity, but we really did uh, went through a proof. So you start with one side, usually the more complicated one, and then you show it's equal to the other side. I hope this video has been helpful. That's it.